Hello everyone. This video tutorial demonstrates a read across prediction when metabolic activation is taken into account. This is a continuation of the tutorial category definition considering the metabolic activation of the target chemical. The target chemical is ethylpyrocatechol with CAS number 28930-20-3 and the target endpoint is EC3 associated with the local lymph node assay. The analogs are collected based on abiotic activation of the target chemical leading to the formation of quinone-type autoxidation products. The task now is to predict the skin sensitizing effect of the target chemical. Let us start with the example. We need to select the cell in the data matrix that corresponds to the EC3 endpoint tree level for the target chemical. Then we go to data gap filling and click on read across. A new window appears with possible data inconsistencies that we should be aware of. Please note that for many endpoints related to human health hazards, the data is represented by scales and can be converted between different scales. In this example, we use EC3 data values in percent, Select the scale and confirm. Now we see the data gap filing graph. The dots in the graph represent the experimental data of the analogs in EC3, distributed by their calculated log cow values. The red dot represents the predicted EC3 value of the target chemical. The analogs that are closest to the target chemical in terms of log cow value are colored brown. These are the chemicals whose experimental EC3 data are used to predict the EC3 value of the target chemical by averaging their values. Now we look at the analogs in the data matrix. They are quite different compared to the target chemical. We need to refine this initial selection of analogs. Is that possible? The answer is yes, it is possible. To do this, we open the select slash filter data and click on subcategorize. Now we see the same profilers and simulators from the profiling and category definition here and the relevant to the endpoint profilers and simulators colored in green. Let us select the protein binding alerts for skin sensitization by OASIS. It is applied to the chemicals in the data matrix and here is the summary of the result. At the top we see the profiling result of the target chemical, which in this case is, no alert found. At the bottom we see the profiling result of the profiling for the analogs. Among the analogs, we see that most of them have the same profiling result as the target chemical, 56 chemicals, and there are two chemicals that are profiled in a different category. The analogs whose profiling results differ from those of the target chemical are automatically selected and can be removed. The different analogs are also highlighted in the data gap filling chart and in the data matrix. This is how subcategorization works. Remove the different analogs. For the next subcategorization, select the same profiler again and then the autoxidation simulator. In this case, the system starts comparing the profile result of the target chemical with the profile result of the analogs, including their abiotic oxidation in the comparison. The result of the target chemical with its autoxidation products is shown here above, it is seen that the target chemical is activated. Among the analogs, there are 21 chemicals that have a different type of activation compared to the target chemical. We need to remove these and use only the analogs that have the same type of activation as the target chemical. Why? Because, selection of analogs that are mechanistically similar and are activated in the same way as the target chemical is very important for building a reliable read across hypothesis. As next step in the analysis, select the same profiler and skin metabolism simulator. We see that there are chemicals where the generated skin metabolites are active due to a different mechanism of interaction with the proteins than the target. To obtain mechanistically similar analogs, we should eliminate the differences. Let us remove the different analogs. The final step in selecting analogs and refining the category after applying all relevant mechanistic profilers is to apply a structure-based profiler such as organic functional groups or structural similarity. Select organic functional group and remove the selected different analogs. Now, we have four analogs which are mechanistically and structurally similar to the target chemical. Predicted EC3 of the target chemical is 1.36 based on the EC3 values of the four analogs. Accept the prediction. 
A warning message appears to note that the log cow of the target chemical is outside the range of variation of log cow of the analogs. However, if this difference is less than 0.5 log units, as it is in the current case, we can consider it as negligible. Once the prediction is accepted, the system automatically returns to the data matrix at the document level of the primary category. To go back to the final list of analogs used for the prediction, we need to go down to the highlighted level of the document tree, which is an indication of an accepted prediction. Here are the analogs used to predict EC3 of the target chemical. In addition, we can evaluate the consistency of the chemicals in the list to check if the analogs are suitable for read across prediction of the target chemical. You can find out how to do this in the corresponding video tutorial. Congratulations! Now you are ready to learn more about the functionalities in Toolbox and how to use them. Contact QSAR Toolbox Help Desk for technical questions. If your question concerns policy or regulatory acceptance of Toolbox results within the EU legislations of ECHA's competence, please refer to the ECHA website directly.